Hi, welcome to Clark's Place. Today, working on a Daytona. Tribute, that is. Um, I'm going to remove, I'm going to try to start fitting the uh, plug, back window plug, of course, which is sitting here. It's nice, it's all, it's all fiberglass. And there's who makes it, it's Janik which uh, so far all the stuff I have up on the shelf is, is all from Janik and uh, just starting to get into it now. Um, I'm going to test fit it. I know we've laid it in there, explaining a little bit on this plug, the uh, battery died on me. Anyway, it has these like, almost looks like fins and these have to be these have to be trimmed to fit this lays on the actual dutchman panel so i'm going to put it up on there and uh see what we've got going and also the teeth that hold headliner uh, they have to be removed and they get reused so I'm gonna remove those as well. So they go all the way around the all the way around the door frame here. So but I guess this will have to be uh ground because you use panel bond on it, is what I was just reading. So it has to be clean, clean metal. So it's all solid as it could be. So of course the quarter panel and the Dutchman panel, they're gonna be new and these it has, it hasn't been ground yet anyway. But yeah, all this will get ground and uh, be a nice, nice edge. I know a lot of the cars, uh, Chris's car over there, this was eaten away with rust a little bit. Yeah, not really. This one's in pretty good shape. Uh, he had to rebuild his. So but anyway, there's a lot of, a lot of weld, welding that'll have to be ground off. But, uh, May get to that today too, who knows. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put it on time-lapse, so uh, enjoy. Okay, this was this side over here a little bit tougher to get out. It's right here. You can say there's three three pieces across the top. And they have these little slits in them right there that these tabs they're usually squished. They fit up through there and then twist and lock those in. And they're all along inside here. Uh, now I'm not even seeing them. There they are. Sorry, I had to get a light. Just wanted to show these. There's one there. There's one. And uh, they just twist and lock them in. And then there's actual screw on the very end of them. But uh, yeah, they they work really well. And uh, I know a lot of times they're they're all rusted out. But uh, this one, the two sides have more rust than the top one, and it's it's pretty pristine. Anyway, uh, got those out. 
now I can fit my plug up in there and see where we could go from there as far as what how much of this side here I need to I need to trim and across the bottom I'm gonna draw ha uh, so that's next okay as you can see <laughs> This has a long way to go before it's all the way down in there. But these tabs, um, I've drawn a line. I don't know if that's gonna be enough off of there. Uh, probably not. I might cut on the other side of that line. And same here, it's hitting the Dutchman panel. Uh, I may have to take most of that off. So. I'm just going to do some trial. I did the same over here. Drew a line uh, just to try to get it to fit. It, it does look like it's fitting fine. This, uh, you know, they say you use panel bond down here so there's no rivets. And then all along this window frame here, it said every half inch, drill a hole. And this will be drilling into this. Well, no, it won't. Not necessarily there going to be out here on the outside I guess and in here um, so I'm not sure how that's going to fit down in there but uh, to use a, um, a Clico or uh, screws and then remove them for uh, rivets when you're done so anyway uh, that's what I'm doing today I'll Come back on when I've got some, some cuts made to it. All right, welcome what's, to Clark's Place. What's today happening on Clark's Place? We Today we're going to do some more uh, plug fabrication or I guess tweaking to make it fit right. As you can see, this has a double lip. The bottom one sits down on the original channel. And you can see this this comes down flush but you got to tap that up and then we need to shave the fiberglass off just a little bit to get that to see that'll go down but then it pulls it away from up here so we're going to take that off we're also going to cut this at an angle um Janik Grant sent me a text or an email showing that that's cut off so it fits with this channel better and you modify the, this channel and you don't use this part because it's like it's almost impossible when well, you get you, that down you, you clipped it out a little bit but yeah now we've now we've torqued the whole thing yeah now so that comes out so, i didn't realize that comes off so and they said panel bond for basically everything um but we're gonna try to uh, use panel bond, put a channel across here uh, to weld, exactly. and after we shave a little more here. So let's shave a little more off the plug and see what happens. push that down and screw from the bottom. Unless, unless 
being too tight is like squishing that, popping that, doming that out. And maybe we need to file some more off of here so it fits better. I mean, it's super tight right there. Let's mark where I need to shave some. I had a, you have a marker. Yeah, right here. That's not touching. Oh, don't. That'd be a good on the video. Okay, so from there to there is really tight because of that weld. But right. we, we could grind that weld out too. Okay, that's not touching. That is all pretty good all the way down. Maybe a little bit like right here and here. Okay, let's look at the other side. It's just right here and this right here. I'll just shake that one. Okay, and then while you're doing that, I'm gonna grind the inside of that in the well. suit. Yeah, we need to we need to re-weld this to grind that, clean that up. I mean, yeah. the sail weld is kind of crap. Yeah. Don't drop it. Really. that line huh? yeah maybe a little bit more there you know we ought to put another pad in this yeah it's doing fine it, we don't need it to rip it to shreds yeah i want to go it's done hey see that it's working good needs to be stripped anyway i mean I you you could grind off all that that black factory stuff yeah because all this i want to leave bare metal for the panel bond yes Take a new pad to take that down quick. All right, cool. What you look like now? Dropping into 
place a little easier. A little bit. Okay, that's down just as good. Yeah. That's all the way but it's married. But it still is kind of popped up in the center. I mean this, wow. It's got that much of a gap for that to go down. What do you think? What is it holding up on? Do we have the lip underneath the window channel? Oh, I see. yeah, there, there's a problem here. <laughs> Look, there's a clip. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get that clip out there. Get that clip off of there. This is the old chrome, chrome channel. So does the chrome go around the new dome, domed rear window? Yeah, I would imagine you're gonna to have to use the drill. Wait a minute, that's gotta be ground now. I see there's another little niblet right there. Okay, that needs to be ground too. Oh, and this one. Oh, there's one here too. Half a, okay. half a clip. I got it. That's not we gonna fall? No. All right, hold on, let me get some glasses on and okay. uh, grindy, grindy. Yeah, there's partial clip. It was still stuck in there. It was interfering with that bottom. So it should lay in there pretty good now. Uh, right here. Where'd I put it? We may do, I don't know, this, this rear channel is really nice. It is, it's not. To how mine was. But yeah, clean up and right here. on the back aisle here. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough left on the edge to get down in there and get it. Yeah, I think so. The little back side of the clip? Yep. Oh, wait a minute. That's a full clip. That's a little Phillips. Yeah, let me get that out of there. There's a Phillips hanging right there. So it'll take it out. I'll pull the plug back oh. a little bit. Please. No. Not any threads on it. No. It's because they've been ground, ground off. <laughs> by somebody. All right, now let me screwdriver and pop those out. Edge, which I think would rust first. Yeah, it's still gripping. There it is. Off of there. Yeah, let me grind that down a little bit. Okay, there's one here too. Yeah, it's like half of one is stuck on there. Just 
top of a Phillips head. Right there. Quarter inch too high. That goes down now. Um, that's. Oh yeah, see, it's got flex now. Yeah. That was keeping those little yeah. pointy things sticking out. Kept it from going. That's too high. Yeah. No, that's. Right. Right about there. And then as I look across this, that looks good. If that's pressed down, we can get that good. Well, you can look at the, uh, oh yeah, the flange, oh that's beautiful, look at the, look at the flange, the bottom lip. I'm gonna look at it with the camera. Okay. Show me what you were seeing. This flange, the old window sill, that's the and metal. this bottom, be able to screw and suck that down because there's, there's two layers on the end of, of that. Of lips, the lip that gets the fiberglass but yeah. then that lip here seals right so each other. we'll be out we'll have to stop here then there's a gap and then along here you screw we'll put a screw here yeah, and it screws see. in and then for this here when that's down we're going to build an l bracket and weld it to the dutchman panel is the pictures yeah, that, like a whole piano hinge along here pretty much that then when this pulls down where it's supposed to go right which we'll have to see how it matches up down here in the trunk to pull this down which this this needs a lot there we go pretty close see how close yeah, this this, this isn't popped up anymore either this we'll be able to get screwed into place and that oh, we had to trim that because it would have been too long but they said they make it like eight inches too long, so whatever yeah. you're going down into. So that'll work. Okay. All right, cool. So next, we want to trace a line that's exactly perfect with yes. that. Maybe just run a marker along there, clean off all the metal. Yes. And then weld in a flange. Well, we're going to have to clean the metal. Yeah, we'll clean the metal around the mark. And then we we'll need to clean all of them. Again. Of where we're going to mount the thing. Yeah. So that whole line on both sides, we'll get that all ground off and clean, mm -hmm. and then we'll weld our L. Once this is all seated up there, we'll do it again, and then lay that in there and mark it. In fact, we'll drill a couple holes in it, zip, zip, put a couple screws in to hold it, and then you can weld it. Okay. And then that should butt up against it. We'll drill through both of them and put a screw. Gotcha. Because one of them is fiberglass, so we probably should screw 
I think we can screw it. Look at it. I think we can screw it from the back side into the metal. Oh yeah, there's a gap. Because this is going to be down some. Yep, I see. I think you can get a screw gun in there. And yeah, or at least a nut and a bolt to. A nut and a bolt. Tighten yeah. it up. Yeah. Okay. Because we'll have package tray comes in here and covers all this up to a certain yeah, point. Yeah, I, I don't know how that fits. And then you've got your headliner has to attach so, into yeah. here with those little shark teeth thing. Right. So I, I haven't read that far into it to see. No, but, I know. But we'll have to have something along this channel, like where this stops. Go ahead and lift this off so I can Wait a get minute, a, I want to mark this. Here's where the trunk deck ends. And I think it's just space underneath. How many ho how many screws do you think we need in here? They well, said like one every inch or so. Okay. okay that one will go there. Yeah. It's gonna have panel bond. Yeah. Then the screws, and then fiberglass coated all across the top that fills in all these channels that marries these two together. Right, which I've got and to buy. All along the front. What is buy it? Buy the panel bond. Well, pull the, ah. pull the panel out. I got your reference where the trunk deck's gonna come. Oh, well, let's draw. Hang on, I want to draw the line there. That's what they did. Yeah, we're up. So around, around here is where the trunk deck is gonna start. Okay, I want to put the, the line. Oh, what are you doing? And then, and then straight back, you take that whole chunk out. Do this side too. All right. Which this this can be finessed later. Oh, there's not. You've already cut some of it out. So. Right. I've got that piece. We need to put it back in. Yeah. I was trying to make it fit a different right, way. Pull that plug and let's see. Because it would be cool if this could mount some way. Yeah, see? There's nothing there to hold that whole edge of that window plug. I mean, I know it's held right here. Right. But that could be flapping. Possibly. I don't know if we put some sort of a one-inch box steel matched to the radius of that. I mean... All the way down the, at the bottom is what we're I talking about. I don't know about. if that's just on the Superbirds. I think it would allow more structure. Allow another panel bond point. True. If we put, like, in this channel. Like, have that whole thing have a piece of box steel. Or possibly here. Here it's going to be in the trunk lip. If we were to screw something to it to that connected the sides yeah that actually becomes the trunk yes i wonder so if the trunk deck comes up and lays right here in this channel can we take a piece of this stuff is it round bar yeah and weld we could put the bow in What'd it. What'd you do? I already cut it to the exact length you needed? <laughs> yeah, I, I just happened to have it. <laughs> we could we could bend that so that is a support and then weld that in. If Or we have panel to. bond this to that. Yeah. If this is the exact right bow, like... Yeah. Yeah, because that bow's, that bow's bow. kind of up. Yeah. So it would bow a little bit up here. So welded from here... Like right in here, if this was cut out. Yeah, we got enough length here. We could we could actually notch this out where that lays down in there and we weld it to give that extra support. And it and it bows up. Yeah, it'll bow to, up. I like that. I wasn't thinking round, but all we just need structure. Yeah. I that's not bad. Okay. Alright. Cool, cool. We'll see. We're gonna try to overbuild this thing i think maybe because we're thinking overbuild it because it's fiberglass going onto metal that things could possibly crack things could 
move we the want it the articles we've read about how this is mounted they don't go into detail about showing how they did it but one guy said that pan, panel bond metal to fiberglass is not great not a happy marriage not a happy marriage they, they don't like each other but he felt that when he'd open his trunk he'd see flex in this area so he i don't want to see flex in that area he recommended putting support tubing or uh, box steel across there he did it and he said it uh stiffened that up and it was fine so we'll do that up front so we don't have to go back and revisit it yep sounds good liking it okay all right let's get on building the channel support we're just going to build that out of sheet metal and just have it sticking across that line let me grind all this off right clean all this metal up some yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna grind all that off and then take probably one of your shelf edges because mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't go all the way to the outer edge if it's like this according to the picture he sent me that's about your shelf that we've used and just have an L to where it comes up and then we'll have have it up a couple inches so we got something to screw through to bond yes. that yes both bond and screw, and screw gotcha we'll be coming in screw this it. way screwing the fiberglass to the metal because when it grabs the metal it'll suck that fiberglass too gotcha. to I go like this that way idea. I don't know that it'll pull that metal to the fiber it'll probably just strip out the fiberglass unless gotcha. we do a nut and bolt we could which we've got plenty of room under the there to and do we that could, too. we could have you know every every two inches nut and bolts all the way across with washers probably inch and a half <laughs> okay <laughs> all right bye bye that's our plan all right we took the pipe and rolled it on that tire over there and got it to be very close to the right dimensions yeah it's close if we curve it a little more it gets a little better so panel bond it clamp it until that it'll set up yeah then weld this end this into the body and then this just lays on that as we're panel bonding it's got another piece of steel yeah. across that whole length to that's that should work fine yeah that's just a subtle bend yeah but like it we didn't need any you know highly recommend a real subtle pipe bender it's right there yeah it's just a tire okay i'm gonna drill out well, you sold holes. your pipe bender what last week or week yeah, before i just bought it but it didn't work very well we were trying to do the hinges and it just kinked them so oh yeah we haven't shown the custom hinges we built oh that's right you could show those all right maybe later yeah all right pops mentioned something that I wasn't in agreement with at the time, but I think I am now. Is you we, actually think I thought he thought I, I thought think you thought you thought something good. Okay, what we're gonna do is this piece of metal that was actually perfectly cut already. Is, that that's amazing in and of itself. We'll take and we'll scuff all this up. Make sure there's no no paint or anything on it. Put it in here. Clamp it all. Panel bond, and then we'll test fit it. Test fit it until we test fit it with this with it already in there and know where we need to notch so this will sit down in there and then when we're ready to panel bond all this like i said we've got the holes drilled everything's ready to go we put it in there for the last time that'll be something we just weld because mm -hmm. if we if we put this in there that's going to get bent to it's going to that was the part that i was thinking that we would just weld it now that way it just lays into it but I like that it's all part of this clamped yeah. 50 places along there, so it is right. part of that. Something. Oh, it's hurricane. It's also. a hurricane. Well, it's not a hurricane now, but Nicole. Oh. Nicole's coming through. Yeah, we're in Florida here. We got a lot of rain last night. So, so I'm off work, and we're Daytona Day today. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, so yeah, this will lay in a channel that we make fitting test fitting this whole thing along with this piece right. coming down to some metal that we are going to actually weld onto the dutchman right and then this will lay in there and last steps once it's panel bonded down in screwed in 52 times around and this is screwed in and it's set then we can come back this is already laying right where it should be 
And we weld it. Weld it and then catch the fiberglass on fire and then we'll buy a new plug from Janik. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Got a couple strips out of some metal. Yeah, I need the sledgehammer. Thing. Welded down. We'll get them straightened out. We'll get them fit to the actual Dutchman over there. Yeah, they just need to be tweaked. They may need to be ground off a little bit too, because he just kind of free handed it. Here, that was a little better. Let's see if you. That one's pretty good already. Maybe that corner. So we'll get this shaved accordingly. Not really doing much. No. Yeah. And then put the other one up there. Is that plenty to find, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that should be plenty. I mean, that's just holding this prize another tack point. So yeah, so it's it's all one piece across the. So Dutchman. let's get this shaped to the Dutchman, yep. and we'll start welding it in. Sounds good. Yep. All right, so where the charger body kicks in for the trunk a little bit, that we had to notch had it to, out. We had to notch it a little bit just to get it to lay down in there. See, it goes, it goes down in there nice now. Yeah, so this actually needs That'll, to come up. Yeah, it does. A little bit. That's all. And that could go down a smidge, and it's pretty much tight all the way across the front once yep. we get it screwed in and panel bonded. We got that ground. And with it down oh, that's low, hitting. that's hitting. Yeah. Where's the marker? I'll mark it and we'll trim a little bit of uh, that. Flipped off, flipped off the back of the welder. It's behind it. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we need to shave from here to here in order to get that down. And then we'll put our line and those panels, these guys here. These guys are actually a little too tall now. Oh no. We gotta cut those okay. cut those down. I because we haven't ever had it down. That this little far. shelf stuff though would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah, we never had it down far enough. Yep. Yeah, so really trimming this. Well, pull that corner, pull that corner over there up to where it goes, Pop. This one? Yeah, pull it to where it's flush with the body. It's 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 almost fine there. Because this needs to be right there. Right there it is. Okay, so. Yeah, you can see how much it needs to. Yeah, we can shave a little bit of it shiv, off. And up. that's the side over there is fine. Shave a little bit of it off. Okay. And then uh, to get, oh, that is a, that's a solid square. There's nowhere for it to go up in a channel in there. So scribe a line and we'll take more of the line. So we want to. 
Here, I can just do it freehand here. There. To there. Okay. And we'll pop a line. Put a straight edge and cut it. Alright. Both cut, of them. Cut that off. And then mirror the other one with this one. Yeah. Alright, so we notched out both places where it should go down in. We should have our best fitment. Be our best fit so far. It needs a little more. You can see where exactly it needs it. Yeah. What needs to happen? Looks like it's a little tight right here. Maybe no. Yeah, right where I cut that off, it still won't drop because this big needs a little more out of the back. Right in there. Yeah. Behind it. Yeah, where I went up to meet the thing, I well, need to this, go straight back. This here needs to be almost down into that level. Yes. Like this needs to be that level. Yes. And it's close. See, it's it's just catching All where right, I didn't so get it beat out. To, just need to cut that out. Here, let me, let me draw real quick. You got some marker? Ah, uh, it's laying there. There we go. Alright. So... Past that. Yeah, it's just I didn't quite take enough out. Yeah, I'm gonna take that and then that should drop down. It should. We oh. might grind that a, a little, little bit, yes. A little bit grinding right there. Where have you been sitting this? Just on the ground? Yeah. I just set it gently down. So just a little bit back. Back, right? Yeah, that's what that angle is that I drew right there. Well, that's all got to come out? Yeah, because the fiberglass is thick right there. Oh. That needs to be chunked out. Yeah, you can kind of angle it now. Yeah. I can bend that out of the way and you can get straight. Just what else is that thing? Um, see if you can do an angle with that. And I'll just come in, just zip it off right there. And then this needs to be, I'll get the grinder for that. Okay. We don't need to cut it per se. Fell down in there somewhere. Alright, let me let me let me just do the work with this. tight up here. Good. And that's sitting where it needs to be, huh? Yeah, it is. So that is living a lot better oh, here. Oh yeah, see that line's all up. And we can put some metal behind here. And then fiberglass this whole thing. And we could do that too. Yeah. And you could even stretch this one. This one's, this one's in and living, living nice. I can stitch like take a piece of metal and then butt it to this. Now that actually needs to come. No, it doesn't. Well, when we weld in that support beam, yeah, that's gonna take care of that. And then I can tack weld when we clean up these gutters. Mm -hmm. I can tack weld just a little strip that marries directly to that and to this. That way it completes that. Since we took a half inch out too much, I think that's gonna be good. And we got we got two bigger gaps here too. 
see that? I know it is. I mean, we need to weld that gutter in. I know. We need to do that again. We need to do that now if we want. And then we can weld in a little piece. And then we just fiberglass and fronts and backs on that. Now is this? We've got to screw this. Can't screw that down because there's there's nothing behind it. I can get my finger all the way back in here. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. This so do we need to put a channel there? Like we're putting a channel here. Oh, we're going to have a screw right here. It's going to have the panel bonded metal piece welded in. That bar is going to stick all the way under this channel to right there. The there and here. There's nothing here, but we could put here a strip of metal. What I mean, something like that on both sides. Yeah. Where's the marker? And then screw this down into it. And yes. then fiberglass panel get yeah panel, the rest of it panel uh what do you call it Compound. what would you do with it did you put it in your pocket no marker's right here oh okay i'm going to uh that's down where it should be right i'm pretty happy with height like if that was finished body work i'd like it do this one too can see it to see what you need to I think we need to weld a flange in there too yeah I wanted to Is that see what you're doing can I can you see my mark is that it right there there's, there's a scratch mark there it is if you can see it wow. throw it look at that yeah yeah throw it good yeah but my god that is it's right there oh well, that's where it needs to be at least we we eliminate I mean, there's a foot that it wouldn't have anything but. Okay, well see, there, that's not very thick to get body panel. It's like that far, and that's how far down I am. So that's right. Okay, so what, we need a, a half inch flange welded okay. along there? A little piece we've got over there. Yeah, okay. Okay, hang on. Oh yeah, that one shows up real good too. Oh, I see it. And that'll put a couple two screws right in there to yeah but can i get oh no the screws are going to go this way from the top yeah yeah this is a this is a little plate you're going to have here yeah a ledge you screw to... down into it that's kind of what i'm thinking yeah you're talking about okay all right well we can use this little bitty thing over here that i just threw back, back in a bit it won't seem like it it'll just go right in yeah, see this. All right, do we want to get these set first to where the thing lays on it? We know this fits, it's the right width, and it'll all clear before we do these guys? Probably, yeah. So we could take... Is there a half inch to, to deal with there? I mean, we could zit, zit, screw that in. No, we're welding. Well, I mean, we can drill holes and grind all this out and weld it. But, well, if that is that... That's plenty wide lead. Yeah, but is it going to be... I don't know. Is it going to inter... No, it shouldn't interfere. Because that's just all... It's free inside it's free. There. So those are fine. If we just clean so, that up, weld that... So we just cut off a couple of these. Then that's a stout... Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, you'll never move you'll it. You'll never move it. All right. I'm going to use the hacksaw on it. We're hacking. A couple of hacks. Right about there. Mm -hmm. Did you just want to weld it, or do you want to yeah, fit it in there with the thing exactly where it's supposed to be? I'd say weld it. You mean just tack it real quick? Sure. You All can right. do both ends. We gotta get some gas going. The welder is on. Plugged yeah, in. I plugged it in. I'll be. I'll be snooker. Uh, you have it on 16 gauge. Well, that was doing something other... else. Well, I, I was doing something, maybe the tail light panel. Got my welding Jordans on. Yeah. I got my welding retro relax fits. Wow. Relaxed fit. Uh, Skechers. You wear Skechers? My welding Skechers.
even if this sucks it down just a fraction too much, that's all going to be tapered with Duraglass. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got us we grounded. can't have it as a bulge because we don't want to be grinding fiberglass off. Okay, yeah. I'll hold this here if you want to tap that one and then it'll stay. Ah, uh, wait. No clamps? No nothings? Well, yeah, I don't really have a place to clamp it. Okay, I can just I can just tap it if you like it. Okay, watch your eyes. I am. Okay, I do. I tap the other one too. You like it there? Yeah. Tack it, tack it, plug it, plug it. Hold on a second. I'm gonna get a little chair so I can make sure it's well heated. Uh, is it over here? Yeah, it's over here. Back here. Oh, is it? Yeah. That must have been where I was welding. I don't know why I was welding back there. A trunk gutter that came loose. Maybe. I just think you probably welded that in and didn't have the right gauge down there. You like that? Why don't, yeah. why don't you test fit it real quick? Just to see if this is laying where you want it. Oh, I think it will be because when I was done, that's where the mark was. It should have been just below the mark. Now, before you weld the three holes, we can test fit it. All right, let's test fit it. Well, why don't we do the other one too? Oh, we don't, well, I'll have a better idea if we test fit this just fine. fine. Put the other one in about the same place. Okay. Just my thoughts across these distances. Oh, we're hitting. <laughs> we shouldn't be. Yeah, it's hitting that because the fiberglass. Ah. Uh, we need to be down further. Yeah. <laughs> I can just cut that off real quick. Now can we grind and take the wells off? Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, will it, come, will it come all the way out? I can just take this and cut that half inch off right there if you want. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I think maybe move it down more. Maybe we should have been more even with that. All right. If it'll cut, what do you want to do? Yeah, we. if that'll cut that off, that'll be fine. Because that's all hidden. The mask is going dark on me. I can't see. Where's that screwdriver? I should pop it off of there. Uh, you want a screwdriver? Straight, yeah. Uh, probably in there somewhere, but here's another one. Nope, not enough yet. Oh, close. I don't think get a good grind on it. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't really see those. I can see you were hitting it, but it just it's not enough yet. Back to fact. Okay, here's what's gonna lay. You like it there? I like it right here. Well, that's back another inch from where we had it, so yeah. that should allow for that Even flange of the plug to go down in it. Almost more than an inch. Yeah. And you like height-wise where it's sitting? You think? Yeah, that won't go down anymore. Yeah, I think so, because I think it does taper. All right. We're doing one tack. Really got it. Okay. But that'll be good. Let's plug it. See how she looks. It is. What, what needs to happen? 
Yeah, see, it's, we're up too high. How could that be up too high? Because that tapers down. Well, it really does. Yeah, but so, that's where I was drawing my line. So where do you want it? We need to take that off again. Well, can we just beat that down some? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, let's just put it down. Just want to do like that. Yep. And then if it's tacked, that can flatten out to be the right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tell me how you like it. Right there. Uh, right. Yeah, that's uh, good. Come up a little bit in the front. Just that right there. It looks looks a half inch down. Right the there's where it was. Yeah. So right there. It's touching it. It'll suck it down. See, that still needs that. Yeah. Okay. So that that one's good. You like it there? Yeah. Then I'll I'll stitch it in the rest of the way. Okay. Oh, this is this is plenty too. Oh, good. For what we took out there. Okay. Good recording. Yeah, we're still going. Just remember when you're doing this plug, I haven't been counting. We're t probably up to 25 times in and out. Oh yeah. So <laughs> if you're if you're getting close to that, you're getting close to having it fit right. Let me get the flashlight and shine down for you. Be on good holes. Yeah. Good. I know they're kind of tricky. Considering we moved it way back. Yeah, I would say even this up in here. You know, we stick back and finish from there. So. Right, that's pretty good. I don't think I've drilled the other one out yet, have I? Yeah, you drilled them both. Where's the other one? I don't know. Well, but did you do with it? I was thinking that I hadn't done that one yet. Yeah, you did too. Let us see it. Is it in the vice over there? No. We went on break. Here it is right here. Oh, that one's drilled out too. <laughs> Yeah, drill. Okay. <laughs> so, you need to be down in there. It's kind of tough because it's a little bit on that curve, but if we weld it in the right length, we can bend that down. Okay. So, measure your height there. 
see how recessed it is. Yeah, it's it's only. I mean, it's yeah, that's coming onto that angle. Not much past. That's about right. That's about right, right there. All right, so we're gonna tack, and then. Why don't you get a pair of gloves on here? This one's too close. I'm going to put a glove on. Or two gloves. A pair of gloves. <laughs> it's too close. Right. So. I just don't know where that one's at. Yeah, I know. It's back just where that one will hold itself down there. You like it there? Yeah. Oh, I just tacked it, so I didn't. Well, it's. I might have to do the other end too. It looks like it's down for a Yeah, I just, I just. I know it. You were on a notch too. Uh, I'm going to grind that off. Don't need to, it's fine. I'm going to weld next to it. Okay. I just thought it looked like it was down farther than this. That looks like half inch consistent. How's that? I don't know, you get it a half yeah. inch consistent? Yeah, you like it? I like it. No, it's just tear. Pretty strong. You like that okay? Then I'll have to measure it. measure it down on both of them and just make sure they're the exact I, same. I can see they're the same. Okay, the, okay I was gonna say I can put the uh, plug in. Very strong. Okay. We have to build the three holes. that a little more at an angle so you can see Yeah, it. maybe. Not not too yeah, much, but... Reach it. Here, let me get the flashlight on for you. Yeah, that'd be fine.
It's the ground down. Yep. Close up. We still need to bring this up. You want to clamp it real tight in between each one of these. You can use that hole. And then just re weld them. We need to grind those out. And then put different holes in the okay. clamp. I mean, that's, that's a job in and of itself. There. Yeah, it is. I don't know what all these tools are. I think they did those. Our, that was the end of mine. Yeah, those are fresher. They're probably mine then. Yeah. But they're not. They look like they're all pulled the exact same way. Yeah. They just didn't hold anything. I bet you that I wasn't going deep enough with it. It was just pooling and coming up. You gotta melt both metals. I thought it was. That's what welding is. I thought I was. Not just putting boogers on the tops of the top plate. Yeah. You know, we could also, once we get it down, run one screw in on these sides so it won't pop up on us. So we made our flanges. We've got this all the way pulled up to where it goes. This down, down to the right height. Got this trimmed off. So this is all flush. This is flush. This is flush. That's flush. And then now we're just gonna tack in these strips. We have this fiberglass lip, but you don't want this go coming in and out. So we, the way they show is put these in here. They weld. So we're going to hold that tight up against there and then put some tacks and then when we bring that up we'll drill holes. So holes and bolt that together so this cannot, it can't come back up because yep. it's welded to the panel. Yep, sounds good to me. Okay. I think it's back a little bit I do too. and I think it's gonna be that needs to be notched out probably right there. that's where I started to grind just a little yeah so I think that arches up just about like that you see that back lip on this one isn't out at all because I'm against this one and I can't butt up against that one it's a little bit too short well we might we might want it a little bit wide grind out a channel for it to go into and then stitch weld all around that yeah and i can almost push that push that out and get that delay in there but well I, we don't want to flex that bar no i don't want to because that's molded to I know. the thing but i guess to finish this video and then we'll get it posted them. here got these in got you some spoilers nascar spoilers back yeah. there huh nice. and these this bracket so when it lays on, we screw in here, we screw in here. We're gonna bolt the flange that sticks down right here. That'll yep. get all bolted. And then this little lip here, that's where these little shelves are. We'll get two or three screws in here and that'll hold all that down flush. And then as we put this in, this will be ground more. We'll panel bond Oh yeah, lots of cleanup needs to happen. This, oh, yeah, is, this, this is just getting some bones. It's all filthy. Getting some bones together. We don't need to panel bond this. It'll be, uh, you know, bolted. But it will be nice to panel bond. Well, you might slap it full of panel bond and then bolt it. and yeah, that's Then true. it's glued and clamped and bolted and ready yeah. to go. Yeah, all this has got to be sanded because before we put the plug in, I want to have this done, we'll prime it. And probably you might get some black. of that platinum stuff from Eastwood that I used yeah. all over mine. Is that really thick, goopy stuff that probably yeah, yeah, it's still on the floor right here? Yeah, two, that, two years later, that does not come off. <laughs> you need a grinder to get that off. Oh, there's a big blob of it over there that, I mean, you can't even chisel it off. It's like a hundred-year-old gum stuck to it. Mm -hmm. But I may uh, see if I've got some sealer 
you know, rust preventative stuff that'll go over. Well, that's what that stuff was. Yeah. But it, I mean, it's it's just you like roller it on. It's it's some yeah. tough stuff. Well, I've got what I've got is in a spray tan over there. But. Well, this got you going to where you and Doug tomorrow maybe can yes. do, do some more finessing. Yes. I just put a few little stitch welds in. Yeah. Three on, on each, each one. one, and then spot welded it from the and back. Spot and front. welded some from the I back. I mean, it, it is. Yeah. It is part of that now. Oh yeah, it's not coming off. So, very good. Very good. Very nice. Going to be good. All right. Well, all right. You liking working on the Daytona? Yeah. I'm glad we're getting one of the hard parts done because. There's a lot to get this whole plug fit, yeah. finesse down in right i mean getting these you have to you have to number one shape that yeah. the plug and then number two get areas that it can go right down to yep. and lay and live and be happy marrying fiber to steel once this is done you get all this cleaned up and, and protected to where we can put that in i would say prime it all right yeah. there yes. after you get it all stripped of bare metal then prime it all yes seal it seal it and then i'll probably put some sort of paint it's it, no one will ever see it but i don't want to worry about it um anyway then you worry where this is all we got to do when to do the body work for finishing is put the duraglass fiberglass in there and then the next thing is once that plugs in and this is all painted is to finish the trunk area get the hinge mounted which we have the hinges that we modified and then the piece that you cut the trunk deck, move this other piece. Did you want to show the hinges in case somebody wants to buy some from us? Well, or do you want to make any more of these? I don't know. I mean, we could. Daytona custom hinges. I'll go around. All right. So because the deck lid is basically cut off the the panel comes all the way back to about here you have to shorten your deck lid so you cut almost a foot off of the deck lid yeah that goes way up in there so you need to modify your because there's how big your trunk is trunk hinges yeah so they mount up in there it's just a but yeah. anyway this is probably a little wider and beefier and they're heavy than what the original trunk box steel is is the only thing we used from the original they were cut off is is this part here yep and then we took the pattern which it's inside there uh that janik sent cut it out of a box and made it perfect and then we laid down and actually we used this same metal as the outside and then we bent a strip of really thick metal yeah that's probably uh I think it was eighth inch steel. Okay, eighth inch steel. And then we laid it down and all of it was welded. So one, two, three, four long welds. And then we ground it all flush and we put then the you preservative just, you stuff You just on put it. some etching primer on it, didn't you? Etching primer on it. But all that was, was made. The only way, we, didn't, we did not bend this. This was a piece of well you bend you bend box steel and it bends and it does what it wants to instead of yeah we tried we it. made it exactly how we wanted it yeah beefy thick yeah. will hold the hood and is in the right sequence that that will right. actually not this big chunk out of it here is to allow it to move up yeah. without hitting all this extra metal that's in there so but we should have done a video on that but if we lay down and use the on a piece of metal that's how we cut out these little strips and then we used our table over there laid the strip down and welded this bar and as i was moving and flexing chris would tack and then coming around to the edge of the metal because that thick metal was easier to bend and then we had a, a box and we flipped it over put the other half on and the other side so it was a lot of work. How, how long you spend grinding that one day? Oh gosh, I think hour and a half. I was gonna say, I came back and more. you had one done. I was like, oh man, because that's it pretty cool. Because lobbed up and because I think he blew through a couple places. And hey, let's not talk about my welding yeah, had to inadequacies fill it. But these live actually, TV. they look perfect. They turned, it, turned out absolutely gorgeous. So what they are heavy for? duty. 
They sell them for like 500 bucks or so. Yeah, there's something like that. But they're bent, the actual boxed steel. Yeah, ours are better. Well, they're, yeah, they're stronger. I like ours better. We'll for see sure. how when, when we mount it to the trunk if, yeah. if that thickness is going to impede us. But I don't think it the is. The only thing I think that could be wrong with these is when, when the trunk deck comes up, it's liable to want to fall. Because oh, because of the weight. These hinges are heavier. Oh, well, well, well. That's the only thing is I think they may end up being heavier. Yeah. But you need a prop rod for we'll the We'll have trunk. to get a prop rod. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Well, I'm pleased with the work. I'm loving your uh, your rear spoiler. It's yeah. NASCAR approved. I mean, really, the whole the whole rear end of this car is brand new. Even yeah, the frame all, rails. it's all good metal. Everything this is, this is nice. used. Um, but yeah, all this is brand new metal. Except this. Yeah, mine was gone. Mine was trashed from cutting and everybody putting every kind of weird speaker back and there. And I think this is going so to be I'd... the color that I make it too. Oh, you're going to go with this yellow, huh? This light yellow. Not the real dark yellow. Yellow with black stripe and black spoiler. And right. black interior. We'll see if you get a custom intro yet for this car. Yeah. You might. Sure. <laughs> Depends All on right. how busy I get tonight. That's right. All right, that's it from Clark's Place today. If you're enjoying the Daytona stuff, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff that you need to do. And you can follow along with this project and several others. Um, we're always doing welding projects and such like that. And then, of course, we've got that project back there that's getting so close. But I need, oh, I need probably $20,000 to finish it. But I don't have vintage air, and I have to cut into the firewall, so I have to buy the vintage air. And body-wise, it's, it's about ready. But I don't want to cut after I've painted, so... No, you don't want to do that. So that's next. But yeah, that's looking pretty sharp. This car will look the exact same way as that one, except it's going to have that cool body plug in it. You want to throw that back in so we can see? What's that? One more time, throw the body plug in there. Sure. Just because as I was looking down from this angle, it was like, oh man, that's actually all sitting where it needs to be. Yeah, that's good. We'll finish showing how everything lined up. Yep, so, so pound that down a little bit. Looks like a rubber mallet. Yep. It's pretty well up there. Yeah, see, it's butted right up against the yeah, that, panel. Now we'll drill through these and bolt it. Yeah, I, I think and bolts. You can reach under here. And, yeah, there's plenty of ton, tons of room down yeah. there. And then this is down. Yeah, that's All flush. these holes here, here we'll drill. Put sheet metal screws through. Yeah, now you get a little better idea as you look. Just a little bit high right there. Yeah. But yeah, that that looks way different than my charger. Oh yeah, it's got the look. Yeah, I kind of like the fast back look. Yeah. All right. But then I think once this is in, then we take a, our trunk, my truck deck, trunk deck, and we got a truck deck to cut it off, which it looks like maybe even at a curve. And then you got the other panel. Oh, I think that's what they said was the difference between the Vega windows and the Charger windows. Oh. Is the Charger has this curve to the bottom of it. Okay. So the people that put Vega plugs in there. It's, it it's just like a straight line. Okay, this goes on the bottom of the... Oh, it's already curved for you. This sits right there. That's the front there edge. You of, after you cut your trunk you cut, Yeah, they give you this piece. Janik does. And I think that this pretty much panel bonds to it. That's it. A lot of it. <laughs> and I don't know. I guess there might be room. You don't want to drill through to the trunk, to the outside. There might be places you put screws, and uh, that, fits, that fits that contour perfectly. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yep. 
So you, you cool. do good work, son. Now, does the rubber go on the bottom of the trunk deck? It doesn't lay in the yeah. trough, does it? Yeah, it goes right here on the back, back side of that. On the back side of that, okay. All right. I think it seals in this trough. Okay, but it doesn't think, actually but... sit in the trough. Some yeah, mount but... to the bottom of the trunk, some go in the trough. I, I don't know. I can't, I can't, I don't either. Can't comment and that accurately. But yeah, I, I just like the way that looked. It looks like it needs to be screwed in in the center as you look down there. Yeah, that pulled down. That can be pulled down a little bit, but right here. Oh, it's, that, not it's not touching it. That looks like it could probably come up just a smidge. Yeah. But that. That's all pretty good. That looks like nice as I come across that. And that looks good down there too. Yeah. That whole corner. And to give you the the look i i've always loved this back window on the charger but seeing that plug in there actually where it goes the recessed window is nice too i uh, i think it looks more charger like with the recessed window yeah and, but you don't see daytonas that's the thing this that makes that a fastback yeah charger yeah i know it oh i need this piece too Oh, you don't have but one? But I need to sand all that older, that original tail gotcha. light panel. Yeah, you got some work to do to get yours to look like mine. Oh, I know. See how this beautiful is mine is? Oh, I know. Well, these were all brand new pieces, and I was putting an old piece on. Oh, that's the reason why, is you had He bought a, drilled a 68. Out. He was going to make it a 68, so he cut out the 69 panel. But he had another one that he threw in with it, which is the one I'm putting on there. Uh, probably because he destroyed maybe that's why he took it off is it was messed up and rusted yep but he bought a brand new 68 which I still have that and the lower valance but I'm not making it a 68 of course so I mean I so we got a 68 panel if somebody needs but yeah that. I put it it's it's on Facebook for sale oh is it okay yeah that cool. and the panel together I mean oh you can see what I had to do to my butchery I fit and just made those you can check it out in a charger video that is posted as well but i think i just built these panels then just cut a ring welded it tacked it all around and then put the other ring that i cut out welded it to that so that basically two rings and a little one inch drop and then those alpines just sit down in there really nice but yeah all this was all butchered on mine yeah yours were all cut up but you throw you throw your rear package tray in and the speaker yeah. panel right. top and that's gonna look awesome. And probably way more rigid than putting all the this whole sheet in. Yeah. Probably way more rigid than factory. Yes. All right, that's the difference. Yep. I still gotta cut out my tunnel. If you look at it. Oh, it's because it's not a four-speed car? Uh, I don't know, I think it was an automatic, but still you gotta have it cut out. This is a re whole replacement floor, there's nothing cut out. Yeah, you need to, so, it's it's kind of cut. It kind of goes, and yeah. then it kicks out here. Yeah. Well, Brian has the the uh, bump out for the four-speed four bump out. Yeah, and I've got all the pedals to go in it, but I'll get that from him at Moultrie. That'll be another thing to put in here and weld. So I've still got a lot of welding to do, cleaning up. All this whole top's got to be really sanded with the glue and pits, because I think it used to be a vinyl top car. Yeah, I'm thinking so. So. But pretty darn good shape for the roof for oh considering yeah. vinyl top car. And all, like I say, all the the metal work has been replaced. So yep. So. It's, all right. Well, that plug was a lot to do. I'm happy with the work we got done, and I'm thinking really gonna enjoy seeing this thing come together. Yeah. So subscribe. Uh, there's a playlist I think called Daytona Dream, and building your dream car, huh? Yeah. Because Doing two of them. Two of them? Yeah, I got a. I'll have Shelby. to. I'll have a different. No, the other. You have another Daytona clone we're gonna do. Oh, but I don't know if I'll end up doing it. Whatever. You're ridiculous. <laughs> it needs a All right, ridiculousness from Clark's Place. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe. See you soon.